Hey, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Things.com, and in today's video, I want to welcome our new Thingster freelancer course student, Joel. What a beautiful name you have, Joel. <laughs> so it's really, a, it's an awesome name. So today you see uh, my environment, it's, it's, it's our kitchen. Uh, and um, I, because my office is still in use by my wife. <laughs> so so as you see, I work from home. I'm a, I, I started out as a freelance developer and actually I still own my home-based business. We have grown significantly. We have many employees now and uh, freelancers working for us, but, but still uh, it's a home-based business and um, I enjoy it every day. <laughs> so uh, Joel, um, in these welcome videos, I join. Uh, I give you some some ideas, some niche ideas, or some some ideas that may prove useful to you throughout your freelancing career. So I just want to, first of all, I want to welcome you. So consider this done. Welcome to the freelancer course. And I also want to give you some tips where how you can position yourself. What are some interesting niches uh, you can currently work in? And I think. Um, I've already sh shared in another video an interesting like niche positioning would be in the financial industry, which is still too broad. So for you as a coder, like coding and financial industry, it all already overlaps, but the overlap is significant. It's it's huge, and the uh, positioning would be still much too broad if you do this. So one way of of niching even more down would be to become a what is called a blockchain developer. So you create new blockchain. Uh, blockchains for example for companies or um, and this is like it sounds very complicated but if you only focus on this if this is your niche it's absolutely doable doable so you read two or three books in blockchain development you uh, you do some um, watch some YouTube videos you learn the basics in Python of course that's why where the freelancer course and the Finkster material comes into play and uh, you just take the first gig uh, figure it out somehow second gig will be easier third gig will be easier and so on it will always become easier and easier and um, I think it can be very valuable so you could like even um, even sell sell to companies I think this is this position yourself as a blockchain developer could be very valuable because you could sell something like blockchain as a service so you can implement blockchain um, applications like either blockchain applications on say the ethereum uh, blockchain like with smart contracts and everything or you develop sorry your own blockchains and sell it to companies and you could offer these type of packages or services for a 1000 2000 bucks each and then maybe it takes you 10 hours to implement those or 20 hours initially it may take you 100 hours so what then you work for 10 10 dollars per hour but you learn a hugely valuable skill and then over time like uh, the 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 time it takes to actually develop those applications will will decrease exponentially so you will over time uh, if you initially it takes you 100 hours to develop such a blockchain it may take you only five hours because you can use your your projects you have already implemented reuse the project reuse your knowledge and so on so it will take you only five hours or only two hours to complete the same project and you can still sell it for the same um, amount of money yeah like this guy watch this guy he earns like Sven D he is a consensus protocol engineer so he uh, focusing on blockchain also called blockchain architect um, he is an expert developer and he sells his skill for 512 dollars per hour and there's also proof I mean he he has uh, he has earned already 800,000 US dollars on the platform Probably in in only a couple of years, maybe in two three years or so, yeah. Because Upwork isn't dead. I mean, maybe he already works on Upwork for a decade or so, but it's highly unlikely. So probably he's just uh, he's he has earned this in in a in a like fairly sh short amount of time. So I think um, I think blockchain becoming a blockchain developer it can you you may think it's challenging, but it's not so challenging for the for what you can actually. Uh, uh, earn in, in short amounts of time. So I think if you focus one year, all your learnings, for example, for in, in blockchain development, you will be far away from all the other developers. Because if you are just an average developer, you know this and that and this and that, then it, it like developing a blockchain, it's very complicated for you. But if you only focus on blockchain development, this is also where uh, why why they say the money is in the niches, because you can become highly, highly specialized, highly like you can join the top five, top two percent of all the coders by focusing on a, on a, on, a, on a niche. Even if you are just average, an average developer, if your focus is better, 
you will also become better in this particularly partic particular niche. So that's why you need to, to be bold enough to choose, choose a niche, stick to it for a long enough time and become one of the top experts in, the, in this niche. And this will then quickly result in like huge hourly rates that you couldn't even have imagined before. But of course, you need to work on your business, on your positioning every day. This guy, he, he, he's, an, he's a master He's a master in positioning himself. Yeah, he positions himself not only as a blockchain developer, but as a blockchain architect. Okay, and he is focusing on blockchain. This is the first word in this description. So he clearly understands the value of great positioning. You could even choose an, uh, an, an even smaller niche where you don't have to compete with this guy. For example, focusing only on Ethereum. So you could be an Ethereum smart contract um, developer or Ethereum smart contract architect or so. Yeah, create your own niche. From which and and from which you know that it will be interesting for some companies, not for all companies. You don't care whether something is interesting for all companies. Maybe all companies need a web developer, but this is just a lazy way of positioning yourself because then you have to compete with millions of other of others uh, web developers, and you cannot even. Uh, capture the whole market because you have only so much time, right? So therefore you, you only need a few, you only need a couple, a handful of companies that are interested in your services uh, to make a killing. And um, yeah, position yourself as, a, as an, uh, like going, going niche, the richest in the, is in the niches, going niche is really the success secret of freelance developers as well. So uh, yeah, you could really like choose a tiny niche, maybe they are only a cup and like a few dozen of people worldwide who are actually focusing on this freelancers who are actually focusing on this, on this niche maybe there is none none create your own niche um, and position yourself as the number one expert in this very very tiny niche and you will uh, be able to demand high hourly rates and you will become the expert because it's like a self reinforcement reinforced cycle right you choose the, the very the small niche you only take gigs in this niche in this niche which means that you have more experience than everybody everybody else in this niche which which means that you get more more gigs in this niche um, compared to all the other people uh, who like divert their focus and you will become better and better you will become more and more expert and like you will you will be ways uh, miles ahead of all the other people in the in your niche over time if you just manage to do the positioning right so spend a lot of time figuring out the positioning and this this could be an interesting niche for you if you are interested in this niche okay thanks for joining to the things the freelancer course Joel, and yeah see you in the course bye <laughs>